Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the remote desktop connection on your Windows 10 operating system. So here you can see a two Windows operating system. One Windows operating system is running virtually on this uh, host Windows operating system. So I have one virtual Windows operating system and other I have the host Windows operating system. This will work if you have two different Windows operating system or two Windows operating system which are running on two different PCs also. It's also important to note here is you cannot enable remote desktop on your Windows Home variant. So if you have Windows Home edition of Windows 10, then you can't enable these remote access uh, related capabilities. If you have Windows Enterprise or Windows Pro, or any uh, business variant of Windows operating system, then only you can enable the remote desktop on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's say I want to set this Windows 10 operating system, which is running virtually as the de remote desktop. So I want to access this desktop using my host desktop, which is my other Windows operating system. So let's first of all enable the Windows remote desktop access. So what you need to do is you need to click on the Windows Start button. So you need to right click, not left click. So just right click on the Start button and then just click on System here. Okay, so right click and then click on System. And once these system settings open, you need to scroll down where you see the option which is related to Remote Desktop. Okay. So just scroll down here and then search for this option which says remote desktop and I'm, I'm going to just click on this option and you can see by default this remote desktop is uh, disabled so I can just click on uh, this toggle button to enable it and then click on confirm button which is going to enable this uh, option here. There are two other options here. Keep my PC awake for the connection when it is plugged in. You can check this option so your PC will be always awake. The second option is make my windows discoverable on private network to enable automatic connection. So by default this is uh, checked. You can also check this option. So, so now I'm going to just close this window. So now I'm going to change my firewall settings so that this remote desktop, which I want to see remotely, have the private and public access from other networks. So for that, I'm going to just go to uh, the start button. So just click on start button and then go to the settings. And then once settings option opens, you just need to search for a firewall here. Okay, so just search for firewall. And you will also see uh, this option which says allow an app through Windows Firewall. So just click on this option which says allow an app through Windows Firewall. And you will see this kind of window here. So first of all, you need to click on this uh, button which says change settings. And once you click on this uh, button, you can change the settings here. So just search for remote desktop, which is this option. You can see for this remote desktop, private and public options are already enabled. So make sure all these options for remote desktop are enabled. And once they are enabled, you will be able to uh, access your uh, desktop remotely. Now, the last thing you need to do is you need to just open your command prompt. So you can just uh, search for CMD or command prompt and open your command prompt. And here you need to just give this uh, command IP config, which is going to give your IP address. So right now, because this is just a virtual operating system, this is my local network IP address. So I will just copy this IP address somewhere or I will just remember this IP address. And uh, then you are finished on your uh, virtual operating system or the operating system where you want to give the remote access. Now go to your other Windows operating system. So I'm now on the other host of Windows operating system. And on my host 
Windows operating system from where I want to connect to the remote PC. I will just search for remote desktop. Okay, so just search for remote desktop and you will see this uh, result here which says remote desktop connection. So I'm going to just click on this remote desktop connection. So this is opened on my host PC, not in my virtual machine, right? So here I'm going to just give this IP address which is visible here. So let me give this IP address which is 192.168.1.7 and then I'm going to just click on connect and you can see it will ask me my username and password. So this is the username and password of my remote desktop. So as you can see my username is CB and I will provide the password of this Windows operating system which I want to see remotely. So I will just give uh, this username and the password and if you want to remember this password then you can just click on remember me and then click on OK and it's going to show you this kind of uh, window which says name in the certificate from the remote computer is this one and then if you want to see the certificate of the remote desktop you can view that certificate from here and if you are ready you can just click on yes and once you do that you can see my remote desktop is open so let me just uh, minimize this uh, window here so you can see here my remote desktop is open and you will be able to see all the windows which I have opened previously on my virtual machine. So, so you can see I have opened this terminal and I have uh, given this uh, IP config command on my remote desktop, right? So I will just open the virtual machine also so you will be able to see both at the same time, right? So you can see this one and this one at the same time. But you can see as soon as I open or logged in this system, this connection will be lost. So my remote desktop connection will be lost if I logged into my remote operating system physically, okay? So once again, I'm going to show you again. So let me click okay. And then let me just connect to this PC again. And as soon as I click on connect button, this remote desktop will be logged out and then I will be able to see the remote desktop from my host machine. So let me do it once again and I will give my password once again and then click OK and then yes and you can see my physical remote desktop is logged out and then I can see this remote desktop on my machine via this remote desktop connection. Okay. So you can maximize this also and use this uh, remote desktop to work on it. So this is how you can use remote desktop on your Windows 10 operating system. If you want to connect to the remote desktop remotely outside your local network, the procedure is going to be almost same. You just need to change some routing settings and then just give this IP address, which will be your uh, public IP address and then you will be able to connect to your remote desktop using this remote desktop connection easily. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.